This is Classic FM. John, you've, you've variously called Christmas carols uh, calling cards. I saw one instance where you called them, um, you said that they're, they're unique in that people who don't get touched by choral music per se can be touched by choral Christmas music. Is that still the case of how you approach them sometimes? Oh yes, I think Christmas is often the only time of year that people get to hear a choir. Mm. And so I think it's terribly important that when I write Christmas music or when I conduct it, that the choir should be absolutely the best it can be because what I always hope is that it'll be a first introduction to the world of choirs mm. and choral music and that people will come back for more. Mm. And there's one particular that I always remember, the Nativity Carol, didn't have quite the beginning you might have expected or... Uh... I wrote that when I was at school uh -huh. and I put it in for a competition. It didn't win. That. <laughs> the judge was no less than the renowned David Wilcox, who was of course organist and director of the choir at King's College. And uh, he obviously didn't like it at the time. <laughs> well. In fact, it did get published quite right. soon afterwards, when I was still a student, actually. But um, it was later that he and I were co-editors of the second volume of the Carols for Choirs series. Right. And he had to look at it to decide whether we would put it into the book. And he said, oh, John, you know, we must put the Native to Carol <laughs> in the book. And I said, well, wait a minute, David, you obviously can't really think much of it because 10 years ago you turned it down when I put it in for that competition. And he looked at the score and he looked at it again and he said, I think it's improved remarkably, John. 